Hello friends, welcome to Vitesh Academy and today in this presentation we are going to discuss about types of vectors. So first let us learn about equality of vectors. So to explain this first let us draw two line segments of the same length. Now let us name the first one as AB and the second line segment as CD. Both these line segments move in the same direction. So we can say that two vectors are said to be equal if they have same direction and same magnitude. So the equality of vectors can be represented by vector AB is equal to vector CD. And now let us learn about null vector which is nothing but a zero vector. So let us consider a point A on this space. Then what would be the length of the vector AA? So clearly we know that the length of the vector AA would be 0 bar. So we can see that a vector of the length 0 and having any direction is called as a 0 vector or a null vector and it is denoted by 0 bar. And make a note that in the case of the 0 vector or the null vector, the terminal point coincides with the initial point then that vector is called as the zero vector and the next one is here negative vector so to explain this let us draw a line segment over here and name this line segment as pq and let us say the length of the vector pq is a then what would be the length of the vector qp so this line segment would have the same length a but it moves in the opposite direction so we get here minus a so we can say that a vector having the same magnitude but having the opposite direction is called as a negative vector. So in this example we have the length of the vector PQ as A and as it moves in the opposite direction that is QP its value would be minus A. And now let us learn about unit vector. So we can say that a vector of the length one unit is called as a unit vector and it is denoted by this symbol and we read this as a cup and the next one is here co-initial vector so to explain this let us consider three line segment and we observe that this three line segment intersect at one point so let us name this as A and the other ends of the three line segment as B, C and D so the co-initial vector is nothing but two or more vectors having the same initial point so we observe that the vectors AB, AC and AD have the same initial point A. So this was a brief introduction about the five different types of the vectors. Hope you understood the concept. In our next videos, we are going to discuss about addition of vectors. So stay tuned with us. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.